The revolving door of chaos. That's how the Labour Opposition Party is describing 10 Downing Street after Liz Truss walked through it, this time on the way out, to announce her resignation. We've agreed that there will be a leadership election to be completed within the next week. I will remain as Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Thank you. Meaning Britain will have a new Prime Minister again. It's third in as many months and by Halloween. It's been a bruising few weeks for Truss, forced by roiling financial markets to abandon a mini-budget promising massive tax cuts, but not a way to pay for them. She switched out her finance minister, but her own credibility was already on life support. One tabloid newspaper betting that a head of lettuce had a longer shelf life and putting up a live stream of it. In the end, the lettuce won. But Trust was still fighting her corner as late as yesterday. Economic credibility, gone! and her supposed best friend, the former Chancellor, he's gone as well. So why is she still here? Yeah. I am a fighter and not a quitter. But she did quit, her own party wielding the knife. A pointed resignation by her Home Secretary and a botched effort at party discipline in a critical vote, writing her political epitaph. Party officials have already set out the rules in the race to succeed her. Another internal vote in a Conservative Party still very much divided. There are different camps that just hate each other, and I think that's going to be the biggest difficulty for them in finding a new leader. There's even talk that Boris Johnson might return from the nether regions of exile to throw his hat in the ring. But many people watching say the Conservatives have had their chance. I don't think the Tory party necessarily have a mandate for what they're doing. I think we need a general election. That's unlikely. The Conservatives have two more years to govern. So, Margaret, it's an enormous crisis behind you at number 10 Downing. Such a strange spectacle to watch. How nervous are people really? Really nervous, Adrian. I mean, you know people here are used to political turmoil within the governing Conservative Party for years now. What's different this time is people are d d relating the crisis more directly to their wallets. They see a direct cause and effect between Liz Truss's mini budget and what's happening to the economy here. And that, of course, means that the Conservative Party has been tanking in the opinion polls. Conservative MPs worried about keeping their seats. Uh, and the analysts say that this really is the last chance saloon for the Conservative Party. They need to get it right. All right, Margaret Evans in London. Thanks, Margaret.